So for uh, for our company, Porto Vino, we're national importers in the United States, and we work in 22 states with di different distributors in each state. And so we're looking in general for producers, small producers, who are available in um, in all or at least most of those states. So for us, it's important uh, to find a producer who's relatively available, who's not already with a distributor importer in New York or California or some of the more important markets we work with. So that's one criterion for us. So for some of the producers, they're, they're already set up and they're looking for other markets and we're not the right fit for them. Um, in other cases, uh, some of the producers are small, some of them were larger and we're not against large producers but most of the producers we work with are kind of family size estates. Uh, so for example, the, the co-op from, um, from Balpolicella, we're just not a good fit in terms of size. Um, I enjoyed tasting the producers from, um, from uh, Campania and uh, also Roero. It's a kind of a personal interest of mine. I've been visiting that area for many years. And so to see what's going on in those areas. Um, and in other cases, of course, we already have a producer or producers in that zone. And to add a second one for a small importer like us is tricky. I'm not saying we can't do it, or we could never do it, but we have to think carefully because we can sometimes cannibalize our existing producer if we bring in somebody else. So for me, it was a little bit, to be honest, a little bit more research, finding, learning about some uh, producers that I don't know about at this point, and to broaden my understanding of the market, and perhaps one or two of those we could talk to about the possibility of working together.